We're staying mostly clear for the moment. A few clouds out there on Tybee Island. We are getting spots of sunshine now. A cold front is inching its way to our area. That'll bring cold temperatures going into tomorrow and a few isolated showers as well. Now, through this evening, you might feel a few sprinkles out there, but overall, it should be a dry night. Right now, over downtown Savannah, mostly cloudy skies um, versus Tybee Island, but temperatures sitting in the 70s at 78 degrees. Winds are now shifting from the north for the moment. North, northwest winds at 12 miles per hour, so that will continue to bring our temperatures down as we go into tomorrow. But we're staying dry for the most part. Temperatures across the area are still pretty warm, especially for areas south of I-16. Alma and Blackshear both in those lower 80s, 79 in Valdelia, and even 79 in Reedsville. Now towards the coast, Hilton Head and Tybee still in those 70s. Again in Savannah today, we topped off at a high of 81 degrees. So we are still above average, but that will change going into tomorrow. And that's all because of this cold front that will slowly make its way to our area with this low pressure system that'll bring a few isolated showers in the forecast it won't be a washout but do expect cooler temperatures unfortunately for your monday so here are rain chances for the next five days 30 percent chance of rain on monday and on st patrick's day now this will not be a washout but you definitely might need the umbrella on standby wednesday and thursday 20 percent chance for some isolated showers and then on friday we finally dry out and warm temperatures do return. So let's time out those showers on Futurecast. Again, this is only a 30% chance of rain. This is just a few isolated showers. So for tonight, we're dry for the most part. A few clouds out there now as we head into the early hours tomorrow morning. We do have a small chance for some isolated showers, mainly north of I-16. But we are starting off with mostly cloudy skies. Do expect a few showers through the afternoon hours. We slowly dry out going into the evening. Uh, as we go into Monday night, 8 p.m., dry for the most part, but we still have mostly cloudy skies. Again, tomorrow's only a 30% chance of rain. You'll see off and on showers pretty much all day long. Now, for your highs for tomorrow, again, we are on the cooler side. Tybee Island in, is at 60 degrees, Ridgeland at 66. Savannah will hit 67 degrees tomorrow. Our average for this time of the year is 71. Valdelia will be a little bit warmer at 70 and Alma at 67. And of course, we do have those changes of rain in for tomorrow as well. So your certified most accurate forecast for the next few days. We do have a lot of rain chances, but they are on the small side. 30% chance for Monday and Tuesday. We do warm back up going into St. Patrick's Day at 75 degrees. And then as we head into Wednesday, we're slowly starting to warm back up. 80s return on Thursday, 81 degrees. And we finally dry out for Friday as a warm front lifts into the area. 85 degrees on Friday. We are staying dry for the moment. That will be the pick day of the week. Now as we head into next weekend, 20% chance of rain on Saturday. We're back in the 80s. Another cold front swings through on Sunday. 30% chance of rain and we'll be at 63 degrees. So if you'd like to stay updated on the forecast, especially for St. Patrick's Day, go ahead and download the WJCL 22 News.